So the DNC wants progressives to believe that it completely changed with the election of Tom Perez. You know, it's not continuity on the inside, change on the outside. They've changed. And one of the ways that they communicate that they're listening to progressives is they form this unity commission. Now, this is a commission within the DNC that's supposed to be a collaboration between the Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton wings of the party where they come together and they discuss reforms that the Democratic Party should implement going forward. Now, the unity commission is supposed to be important because the Unity Reform Commission represents the party's chance to make serious changes before 2020 and avoid another Philadelphia. And that's assuming the Bernie delegates will be Democrats next time around. The commission may also be the last chance to secure the allegiance of the new generation of activists whose future loyalty to the party is no sure bet. So, I mean, this makes sense. I think that a Unity Commission is necessary because the party is, in fact, divided and trying to bury your head in the sand and pretend like it isn't isn't going to get you anywhere. So, you you need both sides of the party to come together if the party's going to have a future, if progressives will be included in that future. The problem, however, is that this unity commission is a joke, and just like every other instance, they are screwing over progressives here. Now, to explain how this is the case, so the commission is comprised of 21 members in total. Now, the Huffington Post explains, here's how it breaks down. Clinton gets to pick nine delegates and a co-chair. Sanders seven and a co-chair and the dnc chair selects the final three members because the commission operates by majority vote perez controls what may amount to a swing block of three so is it just me or does anyone else see the problem here so <laughs> clinton gets 10 representatives sanders gets eight and perez gets three so you have a split between 13 representatives of the establishment and eight representatives of progressives so basically, any reform that comes up, they can easily vote it down, like that. And meanwhile, they're bragging about this so-called Unity Commission because a spokesman for Perez states, Tom believes that the Unity Commission must consist of a diverse mix of people that represents his inclusive vision for the party and that will help achieve the goals of the commission agreed to by supporters of both Senator Sanders and Secretary Clinton. So Tom Perez is saying that he wants to embrace voices from both sides, but he's not giving both sides an equal seat at the table. Now, I would even be skeptical if progressives did have an equal seat at the table because what we found out during the breakdown of votes for the first and second round of votes for the DNC chair, we found out that 15 people actually switched their votes from Ellison to Perez between the first and second rounds. So I don't know what types of deals were cut or what types of threats were made or if there were threats, but for some reason, these people caved to the establishment and they voted for Perez after they initially supported Ellison. So, I mean, I would be skeptical of this commission if progressives did have an equal seat at the table and had equal votes, but the fact that they don't and that the DNC is somehow easily able to manipulate DNC voters who are more progressive... It's really problematic, but don't you worry, because this isn't the only way that they're trying to reform the party to appeal to progressives. So Tom Perez is trying to woo millennial voters, which are predominantly progressive, and big donors at the same time. So this includes efforts to have a more transparent budgeting process, root out waste, and spend money more effectively. But that's not all. They are planning to create meaningful educational videos on social media as, quote, an entry point for potential contributors. Because you know those millennials and how much they love their social media. How do you do, fellow kids? What? So now this is a direct response to what Tom Perez thinks is his response to the rigging of the election because whenever he was asked about whether or not he thought the election uh, or the primaries were rigged between Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders, he states, you know, it wasn't necessarily rigged so much as there was a lack of transparency that gave it the appearance that it was rigged. So what I think we need is just more transparency. So by trying to be more transparent, which I think is great, you know, we're all in favor of more transparency. He's thinking that he's ameliorating the concerns of progressives when in actuality, you're still not addressing those concerns. If you eliminate closed primaries, if you do away with superdelegates, if you have 25 debates in 2020 and tell us that you will commit to 25 debates right now, that would ameliorate some of our concerns. But you're just doing this to th because you think that it's going to appease us, but it's not. You're not really doing what we're asking of you. You're not really listening to us. What the Democratic Party leadership has continued to do is shoot down progressives, shoot down their ideas, but yet they want us to think that we're listening and they're patting us on the head. Meanwhile, they are not actually allowing us to have any real power in the Democratic Party. Hence why 
Many of us are leaving the party, hence why millions of people deregistered after the primaries and they are now independents, myself included, because the party doesn't want anything to do with these voters. And look, I keep saying this, but if you keep screwing over progressives, you're not going to have a base left to screw over because you will collapse and a brand new party will emerge to take your place. So, you know, this is really frustrating to me that they are continuing to sell us this load of bullshit. And I, I just hope that nobody in the progressive community is actually willing to buy it because it's it's fake. It's a ruse. Continuity on the inside, uh, change on the outside. That's what we're getting with Tom Perez and the DNC leadership. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.